Education, not medication. Presents. Fluoride. And why you should never have anything to do with it. 70% of your body is water, yet most people don't drink enough of it. Secondly, it doesn't help that much of the tap water in New Zealand is incredibly toxic. Chemicals like sodium and silicone fluoride are added to clean the water and to make sure our teeth don't rot. But when you find out that these chemicals are highly toxic byproducts of creating aluminium, superphosphate fertilizers, and nuclear weapons, you will wonder why it is now drinking water. Ironically, no legitimate study has ever found that fluoridated water actually contributes to overall dental health at all. Fluoridation is the greatest case of scientific fraud of this century. Exposure to fluoride causes a long list of problems in our body, including a lowered IQ, Whoa. premature aging, Ew. an increased risk of cancer, Ew. and reduced fertility. Oh man! So what can you do? There are a few ways to avoid fluoride. Getting a reverse osmosis filter, a steam distillation unit, drinking from local freshwater wells, and catching and filtering your own rainwater. But we shouldn't have to go to these links to escape fluoride. Many countries across the world have rejected its use because of strong environmental, health, legal, and ethical reasons. So why are we still doing it? Isn't New Zealand supposed to be one of the brightest and most creative places on Earth? The New Plymouth Council recently addressed the facts and voted to ban fluoride. So shouldn't the rest of us follow suit? Perhaps you are ready to do something about it. Join the conversation. Being healthy is sexy. <laughs>